Hi, I'm Beatrice. And hi, I'm Alice. And today we're going to be talking about socialism. I can hardly wait. Socialism is a destructive ideology designed to control and oppress the individual by centralising all economic and social power to a state with complete control over a nation's means of production, the welfare system and income taxes. Are you absolutely sure about that? Mightn't you be confusing that with some form of totalitarianism like communism rather than the democratic socialism we see in Britain? Socialism, which is determined to distribute wealth fairly, fails to realise that wealth must first be created. Created by the workers, of course. It's not the creation of wealth that's at issue here, it's its distribution. Looting past efforts of production under private property will only take the socialist state so far. And where exactly has democratic socialism taken this country? Oh yes, the welfare state, the NHS, and a state education system that pretty much guarantees that young girls will be able to read from an auto queue. Socialist countries are not only less rich than capitalist ones, but their people are less free. No, I'm sorry, but you're confusing the sort of democratic socialism that we find in this country with totalitarian communism again. It really would be helpful if you bothered to try to understand the stuff that someone else has written on an auto queue for you. Socialism doesn't work. Says a healthy, educated, well-fed young woman with a raft of rights. Where do you think those came from? Because I promise you, it wasn't capitalism. Not only because it fails to produce the economic and material advancements needed for the masses, but because it takes away human dignity, our civil liberties and our rights as autonomous individuals. Whereas capitalism has provided us with the dignity of zero hours contracts, the inability to afford life-saving medications, and of course, the rising housing costs which have created more homelessness. How's that for human dignity and autonomy? I really think you should learn the meaning of these words before you blindly read them from someone else's auto cue. It demands that we hand over the ability to choose and to be the master of our own destiny. Assuming, of course, that we can afford those choices. To an authoritarian, totalitarian state. No, sorry kids, you're thinking of communism again. It also demands the complete obliteration of our Judeo-Christian culture and traditions. <laughs> <laughs> the ideology is flawed, and so in practice it fails. The promise of an equal society comes at the price of economic ruin. Okay, we get it. You don't think daddy should have to pay more tax. Sorry, pay your fair share. As evident in countries such as Venezuela, the Soviet Union, Cuba, North Korea, and North Korea. Don't give up your day job, girls, and sack the writer. I mean, who wrote this rubbish? That's why those who promote socialism are usually young, ignorant, privileged students who have never had a real job, never had the courage to be an entrepreneur, and never had to navigate building a business. You realise you're describing yourselves there, girls, don't you? Personally, I'm 54 years old, I'm a lifelong socialist, I've been in business several times, and I know much more about the world than you ever will from your privileged little background. Capitalism works. It harnesses human ambition to generate wealth. It gives us the freedom to produce goods, sell them, and prosper. Capitalism is about raising the individual above the state, a principle enshrined in our rule of law, and the essence of freedom. An obvious false equivocation. What you're talking about there isn't freedom, which is a principle enshrined in British law. You're talking about oppression by those few who manage to rise above the crowd. Capitalism is inequality writ large. The socialist state elevates the use of forceful governmental coercion to deny the liberty of its citizens in pursuit of its utopian goal. Who wrote this crap? Actually, I don't know for sure, but there is a clue coming up. It does this through the incarceration of opposition 
and the aggressive silencing of dissenting voices. Socialism is about censorship, not freedom. Yeah? So who's that with Beatrice and Alice? Oh look, it's Dick Brain, the new leader of UKIP. I wonder if he knows who wrote this crap. I bet he does.